Okay. Next up, we want the Lewis structure for Fe. So, C2H4. We can already tell from the name and from its um, general structure that it's going to be an alkene that have the general formula CnH2n. And so, um, we can count the valence electrons as we usually do. We're going to have 2 by 4 plus 4 by 1. Go ahead and label these. This is going to be carbon. And this is going to be our hydrogens. And this is going to give us 8 plus 4. So we have 12 electrons to play with. Let's go ahead and write out our general structure. And of course, as usual, start with one bond between each. So this is made 3, which would leave um, two more valence electrons if, there, if we were to fill in their octets. And so let's count how many valence electrons this would imply. So we have um, 4 plus 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10. And so this would imply 14 electrons, but we only have 12. And so we can fix this issue by getting rid of these two electrons and putting a double bond between them. Now let's count the valence electrons. We'll have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So the valence electrons are all accounted for. And carbon is happy, it has its four bonds. Hydrogen is happy, it has its one bond. Let's double check on our formal charges. On the carbon, we're going to have 4 minus 0 minus 8 over 2. And that's simply 4 minus 4, which is 0. On the hydrogens, we're going to have 1 minus 0 minus 2 over 2. And that's simply 1 minus 1, which is again 0. Our formal charges make sense. We expected a net charge of 0 according to the question. And all of our octets are happy, and the valence electrons are all sorted out. So this is going to be our Lewis structure for ethene. Now, based on this structure, we want to predict the HCH bond angle. And so let's figure out the molecular geometry for this um, molecule. So this carbon, let's use some red. This carbon is one, two, three. So it has um, three bonding pairs. We, if it's a double bond, we're gonna count it as one according to the rules. And so this is going to be sp2 hybridized. And so is this one, sp2 hybridized. So it has three um, axial things attached to it. And so what that means when you go back to our Vesper chart is three. So it's gonna be an angle of 120 between each trigonal planar. And so we've already um, made this sketch kind of look like it's trigonal planar. We can re-sketch it. And that usually happens if um, you're good with your Vesper. And so we have H, 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 H. So you can see the shape here. And this angle is going to be 120 degrees. This is going to be 120. And this is going to be 122. Similar on this side, which means that the HCH bond angle is going to be 120 degrees. And then we want to sketch the molecule showing the predicted bond angles, which we have already done here. And that is it for this question.